Welcome to the last night of the Christmas Hot Wings Challenge. It's Sean versus me in our last and final round. We're gonna be a little bit tougher on the judging as far as what is and isn't a laugh to get through this round. So, Sean, if you'd like to go first, I'll let you go first. Okay, now go right ahead and go first. That's his joke. That was, that was your joke? No, I just, just didn't want to go first. Okay. Oh, okay. I once was a personal trainer until I gave my two-week notice. Wow. Yeah. All right. You even lift, bro? He's <laughs> 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 oh, <shoot> just <laughs> <laughs> Crap! All right. Mild, I can do. Mild, I'm not worried. It was that shimmy. Hmm. Well, this one might be short. Yeah. No? Mm. It's not even hot. We're taking even hot. Alright. Mm. What kind of drink does Santa give naughty boys and girls? What? Cola. Mmm. Mmm. I actually pay a hundred dollars for a belt. It was the wrong size. It's a huge waste. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. What's every fa uh, parent's favorite Christmas carol? Joy to the world. A silent night. Hmm. Amen. Bigfoot is sometimes confused for Sasquatch, yet he never complains. Hmm. What songs do they sing to uh, Christmas trees when they retire? Fur, he's a good, jolly good fellow. Fur, he's a jolly good fellow. Hmm. Yeah, fur, fur tree. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Douglas, Douglas fur. Mm hmm. Okay. I think that was the name of the first tree that retired. Douglas. Douglas fir. Douglas fir, yeah. 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 I ordered a chicken and an egg online. I'll let you know which comes first. Hmm. Which came first, Joe? Gotcha. What did Luke Skywalker say after he planted a Christmas tree farm? May the forest be with you. Luke Skywalker. All right. It's raining cats and dogs out there, so be careful not to step in a poodle. What does a Christmas tree eat if it's got bad breath? Hmm. An ornament? I decided to sell my vacuum cleaner. It was just gathering dust. What do you get when you cross a Christmas tree with an iPad? What? A pineapple. Mm. I how that runs. Here's a Bible joke. Uh oh, yeah. Who was the smallest person in the Bible? Uh, not, ne not Nehemiah. Uh, Nehemiah? Yeah, but there was a shoe hide in there as well. I forget what his name was. Yeah. Shoot. Nope. Sorry, Sean. Knock, knock. Who's there? Yeah. Yeah, who? You must really be excited for Christmas. What a kill the chance. Mm. You'll have for days on that one. What do you call a French guy in sandals? Felipe Flop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Spicy garlic time. 
<clears throat> I love that bam. I enjoy it. It's my favorite. Hmm. What did the stamp say? To the Christmas card. Stick with me, we'll go places. Mm. It's, yeah, it's a stamp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, my dad got fired from his job for road worker theft. I refused he to believe he could do such a thing. But when I got home, the signs were all there. Hmm. What's the name of the most famous singing dancing elf? Hmm. Elf asleep. <laughs> it was it was the the impression. That's what did. Yeah. <laughs> well, they were talking about earlier, like smiles. He's got the biggest smile on his face, <laughs> oh. waiting for it to burst. Mm. Wasn't sure I was gonna pull that one off. That's good. You didn't help over there either. So I was that? trying to decide what we were calling that. <laughs> <laughs> what is that one? The spicy garlic. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. It's tasty. Not no, for that was Sean. Not for Sean. <laughs> you can watch his face get red. Good grief. Joe's quarter pound <laughs> chicken wing. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> All right, spicy habanero. We care we're going to lose by default. So I don't even know how get through those wings. He's still got another swing to go. Woo! So deceiving every single time. Starts off so sweet and sugary. Oh, man, it'll be easy. What genre are national anthems? Country. Hmm. Hmm. What do you call a bunch of chess players bragging about their chess game in a hotel lobby? Chestnuts boasting. In an open lobby. Nice. Nice. <sighs> of all the inventions in the last hundred years, the dry erase board has to be the most remarkable. Hmm. What is a bird's favorite Christmas story? The finch that stole Christmas. Dirty little finch. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> and both of them. Uh, yeah, make Sean eat his wing first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's watch Sean eat that habanero. Mm. This one's huge too. Like I still have a whole. You shouldn't wing take left. your punishment when you're hungry. Mm. Oh. It tastes like a fire pit. How do you know what a fire pit tastes like? <sighs> this is the best the best response for last night. <laughs> oh my, yeah, there it is. Oh my. Just wait, it gets worse. I know it does. <laughs> What's Man, it is, what do I got? It's not bad until you swallow it then. Oh. Well, we're gonna offer him to keep that blazing wing. Oh. <laughs> he won't do it. He doesn't have a That's metal. hot. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Sean, on your victory. <laughs> he looks as miserable as I do. So, that's it for uh, uh, the Christmas Hot Wings Challenge. I hope you all enjoyed. And have a very Merry Christmas! Well, Sean is our champion in the Christmas Hot Wings Challenge. Congratulations, Sean, on a great job in avoiding eating the blazing wing, because let me tell you, that was not fun. But I did have a lot of fun making the videos 
and sharing the jokes. And I hope you laughed at the jokes as much as we did, or hopefully more than we did. So anyway, let's get into Craft Time with Amber one last time. Hi, welcome to Craft Time with Amber. This is our third and final night of our Christmas craft. Tonight we are going to make some more ornaments. So we have two crosses that you will have that have the rainbow stenciling on it. So we'll be able to create a cool, pretty, a pretty cool design with these. So all you need for this one is you'll need your two crosses, your two strings, and your pencil stick thing might want to go ahead and punch out your holes on your crosses so we can put our string in through it later. All right. So I'm going to start off with this one and this can be whatever kind of design that you want, whatever you think would look nice or pretty or would be good for your tree or whatever you guys want to do. So I'm going to try to do some Christmas lights. Now the first initial drawing of these you might have to press a little hard to make sure we get it off but once you start with that and you get the rainbow underneath it should be pretty easy from there so I'm gonna start with Light bulb. These are something that I did a lot when I was a kid. These were one of mine and my sister's favorite things to do. We love the different designs that we can make and the rainbows. We just always had such a fun time doing these. of color either in your room or on your tree or even on the fridge where I'm sure you hang a lot of your artwork at. So it's almost like drawing. You just have to press a little harder on it. But then you get to create whatever kind of design comes to mind, like when you draw pictures. I love all the different colors that appear I'm doing this. I decided to try to do a little bit like Christmas tree lights since it's that time of the year and I just love the design of Christmas tree lights.
down. Alright, so now that we've done that part, all you will need to do is get one of your strings, poke it through the hole, thread it through, go ahead and tie it in a knot, or have your parents tie it in a knot for you. Just make sure it's tight. And what you can do is you can even take some scissors or have your parents take scissors and cut off so it's not as long. Or you can just leave it like that, almost like a bow. So there you go. So as you can see, these are different designs that I have done. This is the one that I started out with because I wanted to see all the different rainbow colors and do a little bit more on the cross. And this one was more of a simplistic one. But these are the different variations that I came up with it. So now you have an extra one that you can use to make either another ornament or save it for another time of year or anything like that. And you'll be good to go because this is something that you can hang up year round. Thank you so much for joining us for craft time this year. I had so much fun doing these crafts and I look forward to seeing you guys next year. Merry Christmas. Well, I hope you enjoyed your time with Amber this evening, and I hope you've enjoyed making all these crafts this week and being able to share Christmas with everybody you meet. Now, when I was little, we lived out in the country and we had the biggest yard in our neighborhood. It's where all the neighborhood guys would come and we'd play baseball in our yard. We'd play football in our yard. We did a lot of big games in our yard because we had the biggest yard. And so we would get big games of tackle football going in the backyard. And then one time, one of our buddies brought over his 18 year old brother and his brother was big. He was like 6'4", 250, just this big, strong guy. And my youngest brother was always very, very small. He was always very, just the tiniest little guy but he was always very fierce. And so we're out playing tackle football one night and, and this uh, neighbor's brother gets the ball and he's running with the ball and we haven't been able to tackle him all night. We haven't been able to bring him down because he's so much bigger than str and stronger than us because we're all just a bunch of like 12 year old kids trying to tackle this full grown adult man. And my little brother comes running as fast as he can at him, jumps up in the air, hits him in the chest and knocks him down. And we were all completely stunned and this guy picks himself up off the ground and he says dynamite comes in small packages little things can do big things and that's what we're going to see here in the bible tonight god predicts that jesus is going to be born in bethlehem this tiny town where nothing extraordinary happens but the extraordinary is about to happen so let's look in the book of micah chapter 5 verse 2. So if you have your Bible, follow along and if not, pause, grab it, come back, follow along with us or just continue to watch the video. It's up to you. So here we go. Micah chapter 5 verse 2. But you Bethlehem, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from old, from ancient times. From Bethlehem, the smallest of the cities, comes a ruler, the greatest ruler of all time, being in this little town to be able to claim this big, mighty thing must have been exciting. But was it going to happen? Is it going to come true? Let's see what happens in Matthew chapter 2, verse 1. And after Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea just as God said. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. A tiny, forgotten little town where not much happens comes this great and mighty King, the ruler of us all, the savior of the world, the one who's gonna deliver us from our sins, comes from this tiny little town. And when we look at the genealogy of Jesus, we see a lot of people who made a lot of mistakes and maybe made some poor choices, but yet God still chose them to be part of his story. 
to be redeemed, to overcome those obstacles that they had put in their own place with the decisions they made. And, yet, and then when we see here, Bethlehem is this tiny town, the smallest, the most forgotten. But yet out of that, God is going to do something great. And what I want us to understand is, even though sometimes we maybe feel small because we're a child, or maybe people don't give us as much thought because we're young, or people don't listen to our advice because we're young or whatever, God says we're all capable of doing amazing things. We're little packages of dynamite with the ability to do amazing things. God has created us to be seen, to be heard, to share the message of Jesus to the world around us so that they believe in him and they give him their life and they follow him and they love God and we can change the world through our actions and through our love. So as you go throughout the rest of your Christmas season, throughout the rest of your life, remember God is calling you even though you may be small, even though you may be weak, even though you may be feel like you're not the most skilled person in the world, God is calling you to do amazing things for Him. So do it. Find those things, find those ways that you can be used by God and do those things to change the world around you and spread the love of God to everybody you meet during the Christmas season and for the rest of your life. Well, that's all I have for tonight. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas season, and I'll see you again next year. <laughs> Has he been there the whole time? <laughs>